Air purifiers can help remove dust, smoke, allergens, and even bacteria from the air in your homes. But some can be very expensive and there's definitely some dud products out there. Welcome to Choosing Better. I'm here with choice expert Chris Barnes and we're here to talk all things air purifiers. Do they really work? Can they stop you getting sick? And how do you know which is the best product to buy? Ever since COVID-19 and those awful bushfire seasons we've had, air purifiers have become really popular. Chris, you've tested a lot of these in the labs. Can you tell us a little bit about what they do and how they work? Yeah, I sure can, Prue. So look, an air purifier uh, is basically a fan and a filter. Its job is to suck the air in out of the room, uh, which will be containing dust and pollen and maybe smoke particles and who knows what else trapping it in the, the filters and then getting clean air out there uh, for us to breathe. Now obviously they've got other features as well like sensors, um, displays that tell us all sorts of things about what's going on with the air in the room, um, but that's in essence what they do. You mentioned dust and pollen, uh, does that mean they're good for people that have asthma and allergies? Yeah, actually they are uh, surprisingly good for people with allergies uh, and asthma. They can't get everything out, but they can definitely help keep the air cleaner, and that's good news for someone who needs that uh, cleaner air. And what about bacteria and vi viruses such as COVID-19? We'd all love a COVID-19 uh, busting magic appliance in our homes. Is, is that what an air purifier is? No, unfortunately they're not the magic COVID-19 busting machine, but uh, they're actually really good at doing it. Um, because the HEPA filters are an incredibly dense and complicated weave of, of fibres, and the little uh, fragment of, of virus is being pushed around uh, by the air particles that it's surrounded by, and that's called Brownian motion, for those of you who remember your science lessons. Uh, and it means that they often end up bumping against one of the strands in the, in the HEPA filter, and there they stay and there they die. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you test and the things that you're looking for? Yeah, of course. What we want to do is see how much faster that stuff comes out of the air when you've got an air purifier like this running in the middle of it. And what that means is that it's put in a, a, a test room of a set size and you put the pollutant into the air and you mix it around and then you see how fast that stuff naturally comes out of the air by itself. And that's what we call the natural decay rate. And then you do exactly the same thing again, but this time with the air purifier in the middle running on full speed to give it its best shot. And you see how much faster does the air clear. And the difference between those two rates, that tells you how effective this, uh, this thing actually is going to be. The best of them, they'll clear the air really, really fast, much faster than the dust would ever get out by itself. The worst of them that we've tested, it's like you haven't bothered putting one in at all. Can you talk us through some of the features that we should be looking out for when we're going to buy an air purifier? Yeah, absolutely. And so look, the most important feature that you should look for when you're going out to buy an air purifier is what sort of filter does it have? A HEPA filter is really the, the one most important thing that you should look for, because that's the one thing that we found really does make a big difference. Other features that you're going to find are a display uh, that'll tell you things like, what sort of particle count is it detecting? You know, Maybe it's going to tell you the uh, temperature and humidity of the room that it's in. And it's really quite educational sometimes to see what's actually going on uh, in the air inside your home. How do you find the cheap models perform versus the expensive ones and how much how do we know how much we should be spending? Yeah, like any other appliance, uh, price is no guarantee of quality. We do find that there's a certain amount of oomph that, you know, a certain amount of fan power and a certain amount of surface area uh, on the filter that you need to actually get really you know, effective air processing. So we have recommended some that cost a few hundred dollars and then some that cost fifteen hundred dollars or more. Okay, and what about the filters? These, these cost a little bit as well, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm really glad you mentioned that because that is a really key expense for these sorts of products. Um, you have to replace these uh, every once in a while. Might be every six months, might be every 12 months, might actually be even, uh, even more uh, often than that. And the price can add up quite a lot. So you, you could end up spending hundreds of dollars a year just on filter replacement. So it's really important that you find out what are the replacement costs for the filter of the model that I'm looking for. Shall we see one in action? Yes, please, thank you. So let's ramp this one up. Now the display at the front is probably telling us right now, I'm not finding a lot in the air around here. That's reasonably clean air in the room. So we're gonna give it a spray of something and see what it does. 
Now, any air purifier worth its salt should be able to pick up on, on stuff that close to it. But what you'll see is the display count goes up, saying, I've found something, I'm going to push that through the, the filter, get rid of it. I mean, already we can smell that a lot of the smell's already gone. Yeah. Uh, whereas without this, we'd probably still have it lingering in the air around us. So that's an illustration of how they actually work. Thank you, Chris. Chris and the experts here at Choice have tested over 40 air purifiers in the last couple of years. If you found this video useful, click to subscribe and head to choice.com.au for lots more buying advice and tips and to become a member, which means you can view thousands more expert product reviews.